Hi Libra, this is your June mid-month tarot reading. I do three separate spreads in my mid-month readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage, and I'll do um, a love from the past, aka the X spread. Please like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love in the second half of June. We have the Ten of Swords, clarified by the Ten of Wands. We have uh, the Magician. We have the King of Cups, clarified by the Page of Cups. In the potential outcome, we have the Fool with the Ten of Cups and the Sun. And uh, we also have Justice on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or a Leo, or perhaps another a Libra. Um, I like this spread. I like it a lot. Um, what I noticed right away is that we have three tens on the table. We got the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Wands, and the Ten of Cups in the potential outcome. Um, another thing I noticed, there's a lot of um, cards in the spread that symbolize children. Right, The Page of Cups right there in the middle, it could be a child. And as some of you may already know, the same card could be interpreted in different ways, even in the same spread. Then I've got that Ten of Cups in the middle of the potential outcome, which is a family card, right? And uh, in the Sun card right next to the deck, there is also a kid riding a horse. So there could be children involved here. <laughs> you could be a single parent, they could be a single parent, or perhaps when the, when the two of you, you and this person, and we'll talk about that about them in just a second. When the two of you decide to move forward, you can have a, a full-blown family if that is still an option for you. Right? The first card that came out is the Ten of Swords. And that threw me off a little bit because the rest of the spread looks amazing. So I clarified that Ten of Swords and uh, it's clarified by the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Swords is a card of an abrupt ending. And what's coming to an end is the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is a card of um, you know, a burden, this is a card of responsibilities, this is a card of tough life, basically, right? And uh, um, that will probably translate into different things depending on your situation. For some of you, your tough life is because um, um, you think that you'll never ever meet uh, the love of your life again, or you lost all hope in love, or perhaps you're struggling financially, you're struggling emotionally, you're carrying all that burden with the Ten of Wands. Perhaps um, you are a single parent, and so are they. But, um, you know, if the two of you were to merge your families, it would become easier, right? Because now there's two adults and a couple of kids, but one adult can do one thing and another adult can do another thing, and uh, you can kind of like balance out those responsibilities. Whatever the case, whatever the tough life, whatever the Ten of Wands represents for your particular situation, all of that is going to come to an end with this new person entering your life, right? We have the Magician right next to the uh, Ten of Swords and uh, the King of Cups. The King of Cups is the person entering your life. It could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or somebody with water in their chart. Uh, the King of Cups could also be somebody who is mature, in control of their emotions, but at the same time still very loving, right? And uh, perhaps with the Magician card, you manifested someone like this. In this case, uh, if you didn't believe that manifestation works, then this is exhibit A right here. <laughs> it does work, right? The magician is not only manifestation, it's also a card of taking action. So perhaps you tried different things to find this person, but you lost hope at some point, right? And uh, your hope will be restored. The King of Cups is qualified by the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is the nicest page out of all four pages. If you ask me, I don't mean to insult the other pages, but the Page of Cups is all about uh, being very romantic, being emotional, being very, um, you know, somebody who is soft, somebody who gives flowers, somebody who takes you out, you know, just doing all kinds of nice, emotional, loving things. In the uh, potential outcome, we have the Fool with the Ten of Cups and the Sun. So there's two major arcana cards in there and the Ten of Cups in the middle. The Fool is a card of taking a leap of faith, taking a risk, right? Uh, or just going for it, and I think that's what the uh, that's what will involve here for you to do. Just take a take a leap of faith with this person, and I think you will. I think you. I don't see you hesitating. I don't see you thinking about it for too long, right? You will still do your Libra thing. <laughs> you will still weigh all pros and cons, but I think um, your solution or your uh, answer to this is going to be, yeah, I'm just going to go for it, you know, because this person is delivering, you know, they're put a lot on the table. 
this person definitely resonates with you and uh, perhaps this is somebody you always manifested somebody like that so the ten of cups in the middle is the happily ever after card it's a family card it's uh, one of the best cards when it comes to emotionally fulfilling relationships or marriages the sun right next to the deck is the personal Leo card you could be dealing with the Leo but the sun is the happiest card in the deck that card always talks about joy success happiness, feeling on top of the world, right? And whenever the Fool and the Sun card come out in the same spread, I always point out the similarities between those two cards. In the Fool card, we have the Sun in the right upper corner. And uh, in the Sun card, we have the Sun as well. And it's the Sun card. And the gesture of the, the person in the Fool card and the kid in the Sun uh, card to me personally look identical right they've got their arms spread out and to me personally this is a gesture of a very happy person so I think that's you, you that is you enjoying your happily ever after with this person and the justice card on the bottom of the deck that is your card Libra that's you and it's always a good sign to have your own card in your own reading right justice is your major arcana card and uh, justice is also karma you're finally getting what you deserve because karma could be negative or positive uh, in a nutshell right so if you've been a good girl or a good boy you're finally getting what you deserve and your tough life whatever that means to you in particular is coming to an end all right i'm not going to do an extended for you with cards like that especially in the uh, potential outcome you can definitely make it happen you can definitely have your happily ever after with this person really happy for you libra congratulations Libra, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this uh, spread is for you. Uh, we have the Page of Pentacles, clarified by the Three of Cups. We have the Hangman. We have the Knight of Swords, clarified by the Six of Swords. And uh, we also have the Hermit on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fellow Air sign, Gemini, uh, another Libra or Aquarius. You could also be dealing with a Virgo. Um, or pretty much any Zodiac sign. What I keep hearing is that there is a pending trip. Right, and uh, this trip could be really long distance, or it could be short distance. <laughs> right, the the the, uh, the hangman in the middle that is a, a card of a stagnation, nothing happening, so something is pending. And uh, the hermit on the bottom of the deck is the person of Virgo card. You could be dealing with a Virgo, or the hermit is all about going within, doing some soul searching, basically thinking about something. And in this case, what you're thinking about is that trip. Or both of you guys are thinking about that trip. Speaking of that trip, the Knight of Swords, clarified by the Six of Swords right next to the deck. Both of those two cards represent travel, or could represent travel. Because uh, the Knight of Swords is the fastest knight out of all four knights. And uh, the Six of Swords, yeah, there is a, a boat, uh, right, moving forward. Um, the Page of Pentacles, clarified by the Three of Cups, all the way to your left. This is what it's all about. And uh, it could be someone's birthday that's coming up, not necessarily in June, but at some point uh, at a later time. Um, or it could be um, some kind of a celebration anyway. Whatever. Whatever the type of uh, celebration somebody has and they invited you over, uh, that's what you're thinking about, right? The Three of Cups is a celebration. It could be someone's birthday like I said it could be an anniversary it could be some other occasion anything right and uh, the page of Pentacles I think this is uh, if you are to go you will probably have to bring a gift <laughs> right so the page of Pentacles this is you bringing a gift or perhaps with the page of Pentacles this is you paying for that trip it's not that much money but uh, you know it's money nevertheless so anyway, with the like I said, with the hangman and the, the the hermit, this is you thinking whether you should go or not. I don't really see any cards suggesting it would be a waste of time or you're not going to enjoy it. But uh, perhaps you have a reason why you need to think about it. But um, if you do go, I think it will be all right. All right. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Libra, in the second half of June. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have Judgment, we have the Ace of Pentacles, clarified by the Three of Swords. We have the Four of Swords, clarified by the Two of Wands, and we also have the King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Uh, the King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, that's the person uh, you'll be dealing with. Could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. If they're not an Earth sign, this is somebody who is grounded. They could be wealthy. They could be working for a financial institution. And um, 
I have my doubts about this person, to be honest with you, Libra. I really like that Ace of Pentacles, but I really don't like the fact that it's clarified by the Three of Swords. It almost feels like this person is trying to buy their way back into your good graces. Um, not necessarily buy their way back, but it's like they're trying to compensate for what they did to you in the past. And they know they messed up. They know, they know they broke your heart. And that's why they're coming in with the Ace of Pentacles. Because they know they have to... They know they've got their work cut out for them. And uh, they know unless they come in with anything less than Ace of Pentacles, you're not going to even consider. So they're coming in with the Ace of Pentacles. They know that that's the only way you'll consider them. Right? The Ace of Pentacles is a serious card. It is a serious card. And uh, that card usually comes from somebody who is ready to settle down and ready to start a family, right? Ready to get serious. But the Three of Swords, clarifying it means that they really broke your heart in the past. Because the Three of Swords is a card of a broken heart. It's a card of a betrayal. It's a card of feeling stabbed in the back. So they must have done something awful. And they know that you wouldn't take them back unless they come in with something big, something major, something serious as the Ace of Pentacles. Right, so judgment, the first card that came out, this is a card of somebody coming back from the past. And then we also have the four of swords glorified by the two of wands right next to the deck. So that's you taking time to think about it, taking time to digest the information, taking time to see if you can forgive and forget and give them a second chance. You know what, it's going to be up to you, Libra. Up to you. It all depends on what they actually did to you. Okay? But yeah, they will come back with a very serious offer. Alright, so yeah, that's what I have for you, Libra, for this reading. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Libra, have an amazing the rest of June. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing, and subscribing.